You get gone, you need to move, because we'll never be able to get an alert out to you as quickly as you'll need to move if you feel that strong and rolling earthquake straight away. If you feel it, move. So those people did the right thing. For the Kermadec earthquake, that's at a distance that you might not feel it, and that's when you're really relying on us to look at all of the information we have to say you might not have felt that, mm. but you need to move, and we've got a bit more time to get you to move. I haven't received any um, uh, concerning uh, or uh, substantive uh, uh, um, damage to property or otherwise. However, that said, we have been in a bit of a state of flux throughout the course of the day where the focus has been on getting people evacuated. Now that that risk level's come down, uh, the, the teams on the ground will start to pivot to be able to undertake a more substantive review to see whether there has been any damage. Oh yeah, abs absolutely. She um, sent me a text message to make sure I was going to be doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> I checked in with the Minister for National Two Twenty Nine at two twenty nine. That is correct. <laughs> Bugger it. <laughs> Pretty much what everyone else thought at that time, but you know, this is as the minister has said. You know, these are uh, we are the shaky isles, uh, and what we've got to do is make sure, no matter what experience we have, we do everything we can to prepare so that in the future, if we have another experience, that we are even better prepared than we were the previous experience.